Today we're back to my favorites, the rotary valve engines. I have built something new that I'd like to show you. I think you all know this engine from me. It's the current state of Technic of my rotary valve design. The same technology is also installed in my V8. The one cylinder was the test engine for the V8. Both engines show impressively that rotary valves work well in model engines. But the design is not optimized for gas flow. We have two 90 degree deflections at the inlet. The outlet also has a 90 degree deflection. In addition, there are no roundings on these transitions. This isn't at all optimal for the gas flow. What can we do now to improve this? Of course, we could try to improve the design, make it more flow optimized, but I don't want to touch a design that already works quite well. So I thought about something new something different. Now let's take a closer look at the new design of my rotary valve in CAD. The basic idea is to build a one valve system and to have the most direct gas flow possible in the intake and exhaust. This is the exhaust. This is the inlet. This is the rotary valve with only one valve opening. These are the two glow plugs. This is the hemispherical combustion chamber. The exhaust gases flow as shown here in red. The inlet gases flow as shown here in blue. My one-cylinder test engine serves as the basic engine. Only few people know that there are two of them. I'm now going to convert one of them to the new design. This one here. The other one, which you know from my videos, remains in its original state. Maybe some information on timing. This is identical to the one-cylinder test engine. The intake opens 50 degree before top dead center. The intake closes 90 degree after bottom dead center. The exhaust opens 90 degree before bottom dead center. The exhaust closes 50 degree after top dead center. Here you can see the finished cylinder head. This was CNC milled from 70 Hauru 75 aluminum. At this point, a big thank you to RC Engine 71. He milled the head for me. Have a look at his channel. He also builds great model engines. Link in the description. The intake and exhaust were 3D printed from aluminum. To ensure that the rotary valve will not seize up and is well supported, I installed a cast iron sleeve in the cylinder head. The carburetor is an 8mm OS Type 4C. Here you can see the hemispherical combustion chamber with the valve opening in the center and the two threads for the glow plugs. Here we are looking into the cast iron sleeve for the rotary valve. Here you can see the valve opening into the combustion chamber. This is the outlet opening and this is the inlet opening. This is the new finished rotary valve. It's made from a special steel that has a very low coefficient of thermal expansion. In a first step, I manufactured the blank on my lathe. I then milled the control opening. As a final step, I ground the functional diameter on my lathe with my self-made grinding tool. At this point, I would like to comment on something. In the comments, many have expressed the concern that my rotary valve design has too much rotational resistance and friction. I'm aware of this, which is why these cutouts have already been introduced on the V8, which more than have the friction surface in the non-functional area. I hope that I have been able to answer your concerns and objections. Now let's take a look at the cylinder head with the rotary valve fitted. You can simply see here how the principle works. Because the control opening in the rotary valve occurs twice per revolution, the rotary valve must be geared one to four to the crankshaft. Can you see how smooth running the rotary valve is? It turns almost without resistance. I am very satisfied. For your information, the cast iron sleeve is honed and the ground rotary valve has five micrometers of play in the sleeve. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, the basic design of the engine is the same as that of my test engine. We have a night rided and honed steel liner as the cylinder. This is pressed into the engine block with a small press fit. 
The connecting rod is made out of grade 5 titanium with bronze plane bearings. The piston is made out of special aluminum alloy with a high silicon content. It has one piston ring made of cast iron, a double ball bearing crankshaft made of steel with counterweight. The belt pulley is different to the test engine, as this now has to have a gear ratio of 1 to 4 instead of 1 to 2. It has become twice as large. That's okay for a test engine. Of course, this isn't a good solution for a usable engine. Then you would have to build a gear drive, for example. That's actually it. We're finished with the engine and this is what it looks like. It's new and different to my previous rotary valve designs. I like it. Are you already nervous about what's next? But first, let's start by turning it by hand and checking the compression. The compression is insane. When the exhaust opens, it really pops out of the exhaust. A very good sign. Do you think it will run? Let's find out now. Oh yes, he's running so well. Nice, now let's shoot him to the moon and rev it up. What can I say? It runs well. It's very rev happy and gets good throttle response. So the new design is very promising. So stay tuned for updates. Finally, I can only say that I hope you enjoyed the video and that you like this project as much as I do. Please share and subscribe.